Shabbat Shalom, and welcome to 5 Minutes of Torah with the Beth Israel Rabbi. I love studying and teaching Torah because it gives us a fantastic insight into the nature of our relationships in this world. The Torah itself, as I often teach, is really about a relationship between the people of Israel, God, and the land of Israel. The people of Israel fulfill God's commandments as a thank you to God for all that God has done, and in return, they receive the land of Israel. And out of receiving the land of Israel, they then fulfill God's commandments and their gratitude for the land. But there is more to the Torah than just that particular relationship. There is an underlying subtext as well about family dynamics, about our relationships with other human beings. There are stories in the Torah that teach us how we should behave by giving us examples in both the positive and the negative of how our foremothers and forefathers behaved, the biblical heroes in their relationships with each other. And, of course, we are taught how to interact with other human beings by the example of the relationship between God and the people of Israel. In this week's Torah portion, Parshat Shlach Lecha, God commands Moses to send spies to scout out the land of Israel. Ten of the spies come back saying that the land is great, but we will never be able to enter the land. The inhabitants are giants. It will be impossible to ever, ever walk in, to ever enter into the land of Israel. And yet two of the spies, Caleb and Joshua, come back with a very positive report. They not only say that the land is great, but that we will also be able to enter the land one day. Because of the ten spies who have a negative report, the Israelites begin to complain. God loses patience. God becomes upset with the Israelites. And God says to Moses, How long shall this nation continue to provoke me? How long will they not believe in me, despite all of the miracles that I have done for them? The Ma'am Loez, a modern Sephardi commentator, says, Despite all of the miracles that I have done for them, they do not trust in me, God is saying, for they have thus become unbearable, and their measure of sin is too great. God is upset because the Israelites are not displaying gratitude because they don't seem to appreciate all that God has done for them. As parents, we often have an expectation of our children that they will do what we ask of them because of all that we have done for them, the ways that we provided for them throughout their lives. And yet children, young and even adult children, understand that parents will always love them no matter what. And because of that, they don't necessarily act the way their parents want them to do so. We have an expectation of our children that's not necessarily realistic. Even God had an expectation of the Israelites that was not realistic. And I believe that that is one of the most important lessons to come from this week's Torah portion. Children will do what they want when they are young and when they are older. And we must love them despite our expectations. And as children, we must understand what it is that our parents want from us. Ultimately, the most important thing for us to do is 
to act in terms of our family relationships and our relationships in general, the way one of my teachers of Torah suggested, which is not to give a 50-50 in terms of our relationships, but 100-100. We must give 100% of ourselves while the other gives 100% of themselves, of their self. And by doing that, we create the relationships that we want in this world. Shabbat Shalom.